This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. All right, time now to check in on the men's soccer team. And to do that, we visit now with the new head coach, Kelly Finley, just on the job here at Liberty. And uh, Coach Finley, I uh, just want to extend a, a warm welcome to you and a congratulations on the, the, the new job. And, well, just welcome to Lynchburg. Uh, how has the, the transition been for you so far here, just a few weeks on the job? Oh, it's been great. We've hit the ground running, uh, recruiting-wise, scheduling, all those kind of things that we're trying to get organized. Obviously, I'm taking over for a legend in Jeff Alder, so um, trying to fill his shoes is going to be difficult. But um, Jose and AJ, the assistant coaches, have been fantastic helping me get going. Uh, really love Liberty. Great place to be, and everyone's been very welcoming, so really excited about the opportunity. Uh, coming in here, uh, when when you're replacing someone that, that's been in this role for so long, you want to kind of put your stamp on things as well, though. Uh, what if, what has been the uh, kind of the first thing or two that you wanted to get done when you came in here? The first thing was get to know the guys. Um, so we reached out to them a little bit, just kind of contacting them, getting to know them some. I've watched some video of the team last year to kind of get an idea of of the way they play and, and key players and maybe some improvement areas that we need. Getting to know the staff and then just, just listening. You know, I think that's the big thing whenever you come in is you need to figure out uh, what makes Liberty tick. And then um, I'm going to add my pieces into the program, of course, to put my own stamp on it, as you said. But, you know, right now it's just to sit back, observe, and really take it in because I, I, I want to continue all the things that Jeff did and, and add some of my pieces as well. Well, when I when I read your quote uh, as far as when you were getting hired here or when you got hired here, uh, I think that you said that it was an elite program that you were coming into and you were really excited to be here. You referenced your faith as well and in, in the in the Lord. And uh, I just want to kind of know what made this a good fit for you. You know, as far as the the faith based aspect of the university and then also the soccer. Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, I'm here because um, Liberty is a Christian university that's unapologetic about that. That. We stand firm on that foundation, and so I've been coaching at a very high level for about 20 years now. Um, so I, I, that piece I really love, uh, but the chance to do that with excellence and represent Jesus Christ is, is a huge part for me. Um, I had a lot of other opportunities, um, and Liberty uh, resonated with me because the opportunity to go all the way. I feel like in my coaching, I've always talked about character, about leadership, about hard work, and, and really doing all the right things. But you always have to stop short. And the chance to tell people that Jesus is why you do those things. If you have a changed heart, you're able to do those things. You have the discipline to do those things because Christ has made a difference in your life. Then it's just a farther message. And so I've always had to stop short where I've been. And now I don't have to do that at Liberty. And I can build a program here that is already excellent. Um, but I think we can even go farther. And certainly you have your, your share of head coaching experience as well. Uh, a lot of time at Mars Hill, Butler, NC State as well. Uh, spent a number of years there. You've been to the NCAA tournament. Uh, all those experiences, all those different stops, all those different levels of, of college soccer, how do you think that prepares you for this? Well, it's funny. Um, I was thinking, talking about that with my wife the other day, um, Joanne, and we were just talking about how I've been in a small school, a big school, little budget, big budgets, all those things. So all those experiences, and some are positive and some are hard, and uh, you learn from all of them. And so that's what I've tried to do is just take a little bit of everything. And I've got a big notebook that I write things down in. And so, you know, the good news is, is when you get older, you've, you've learned from your mistakes. And so you're a little bit wiser. Um, so the opportunities to from scheduling to uh, relationships to uh, recruiting networks that I have, uh, I think is really going to help me here because I think Liberty is kind of the best of all those things. It's a, it's a, a medium sized school, a mid major that understands how to do things really well. Um, but at the core of it, the values are still small, you know, and the fact that the focus is on Jesus Christ. So it's a very, very tight knit community. Um, so I think all those experiences are just going to help me um, start here. As I said, you've had a lot of success, 18-1-5 in, in your last three years in Horizon League play at Butler. A couple of uh, tournament titles there. Also, uh, the recruiting at NC State, uh, several top-ranked classes. Uh, I think the number three was your highest-ranked class there nationally. Uh, when you look at developing a winning culture, what goes into that? It's a great question. Um, you know, one, I think you need to set targets for the for the guys on the team, and they have to be very clear on what's expected. So our core values are team first, work ethic, purposeful, uh, and a winning mentality. And so there's some action principles that go underneath those, but really the guys know that really they always have to put the team first. Um, they understand that they need to work hard. 
right? They have to be disciplined. They understand that what we do has a purpose. And here at Liberty, it's a little different. Our purpose is to represent Jesus Christ well, and we do that through athletic excellence. Um, and then to make sure we have a winning mentality. And, and that, that word's a little bit uh, interesting because it's not a win at all costs. It's a win with character. It's every day we're trying to win whatever moment that is, whether it's a fitness piece, whether it's I like get up and go to class and do it right. I'm excellent at everything I do. So the number one thing is making sure that your players, the staff, and everybody who's involved understands the expectations are very high. And again, at Liberty, it goes a little bit farther. It's not just high because we want to do well. It's high because, listen, when you put on the Liberty jersey, you're saying that we represent God. We represent the God of the universe today. And so um, to me, it's about being clear with your standards and then holding those standards, uh, being every day willing to come out as a coach and just make sure that you maintain those. What about the, the climate of recruiting these days? Certainly a lot of focus is put on the international players in, in soccer, has been for, for some time now, but also recruiting to your style. What type of style are you going to bring here? Great question. Um, you know, the, the three words I use to describe how I like to coach is we want to share the ball, we want to snap into defensive positions or into attacking transition. I want to make sure that we're striking a lot. And so striking being get get behind, be aggressive, make sure we're always looking to penetrate. So, you know, we want to be a, have a team concept. We want to pass the ball and move it, so we're going to share it. We want to snap being, uh, we want to make sure we get the ball back right away. We want to make sure we get after them right away when they're vulnerable. And then we want to make sure that we're always a threat. And so we never let our opponents rest. We're always in their face a little bit. So um, recruiting, you have to find guys that are willing to take risks. I talk a lot about having a growth mindset, a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. Growth mindset is someone that always looks for um, – challenges you know they're not afraid of those things and so when in the recruiting process and the climate we look for guys that are willing to take risks that are willing to go for it a little bit that understand that a setback is just an opportunity to improve so we look for growth mindset and guys have a big network of people that um, have good christian players that really want to come to liberty university and and again for me this is the premier university in the country if you're a christian athlete so um, that opens a lot of different doors for us um, there is a lot of international flavor here but i, I think that's because uh, liberty has a, a worldwide footprint when you're the largest christian university in the world people are going to know about you so um, i expect us to have the best christian players from all over the world whether that that means it's south america um, Central America, Europe, wherever that might be. Um, but, but in the end, they need to have a growth mindset. They have to understand they fit into our system of, of share, snap, and strike. Lastly here, you mentioned your wife, Joanne. You've got uh, five children as well. Uh, what made Lynchburg a, a good fit for them? It seems like this is a great place to raise a family. I'm sure that uh, they've all got to be excited to be here too. A hundred percent. I mean, you know, to have your, your family grow up in an environment where other people are trying to glorify God with their actions is huge. You know, um, obviously the world is a world we live in it, you know, but to have people who are also investing in your children the way that you want to invest in them and kind of coming alongside and partnering with is important. So um, my wife's super excited about it. Um, you know, she's been great to me. We've been traveling uh, all over the place as coaching does for you. Um, so she, she's been super supportive and really excited about it. She was actually more anxious for me to get this job than I was at some points. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love my children. That's a huge part for me. I think it's important that I demonstrate um, my values and my life first with my family. That's my first ministry. Um, but they also partner with me in my coaching um, and what we do with the guys here. Very good. Kelly, very excited to have you here. Looking forward to that, uh, that first game out here at Osborne Stadium. Thank you very much.